catch up and get ahead with The Edge for the week of June 27th. And you'll want to stay tuned for some magic at the end of this video. The Brackenridge Park draft master plan is not getting a whole lot of love. Nowcast SA published an open letter written by urban planner Mark Turpak, who characterizes the plan as expensive and car-centric. Turpak says it would cost a whole lot less if the plan refocused on pedestrians, access from the west side, and bicycles. At public hearings, residents lined up to speak out against the proposal. Been driving through that park, meditating in that park, and enjoying that park in my car for 71 years of my life, or a car. And if you take away my access to my city park, or these people's access to their city park, you're going to open a can of whoop ass. Thank you. In Carrizo Springs, Texas, the Dimmitt County Commissioners rejected a proposal from Stratton Oilfield Systems that would have turned a former man camp into a privately operated detention facility similar to those in Carnes and Dilly, which are used by Immigration and Customs Enforcement to detain asylum-seeking mothers and children. After heated opposition and even heckling from Dimmitt residents and refugee advocates, Dimmitt County Commissioners unanimously turned down the proposal, becoming the second Texas County in June to reject a federal family detention center. What's a mensch? Alan Weinkrantz was the walking, talking, real deal. He practically owned the hashtag, be helpful. Nowcast SA webcast and recorded the funeral service for the marketing and technology startup guru who was killed in a tragic car crash in Tel Aviv. We also collected his digital footprint and made an anthology of articles about Alan and links to his columns, photos, and videos so you can keep on learning from him and see why he was beloved from San Antonio to Israel. For Independence Day this year, the San Antonio Parks Foundation is hosting San Antonio's official 4th of July celebration at Woodlawn Lake Park. The festivities include a 5K race, a children's parade, a fireworks extravaganza, and more. The San Antonio Chamber of Commerce reminds you that it will not be hosting its Stars and Stripes Over San Antonio event due to construction in and around Hemisphere Park and the Convention Center. But you can go to Nowcast SA and replay it from years past. Check it out.